Welcome back to the channel. Today on NSFM we have a unboxing, which is this one over here. Right now, despite what it might say, it's not threads. Right, this is actually from Glenn the Geeky Heathen, and uh, he said that he was getting rid of some of his CDs, making a bit of space. Was there anything I wanted? And I said, yes, please. He said, right, well, don't worry about money. I'll just send them to you. So I was like, all right, fair, you know, fair enough. Um, I was going to send him posts. And he said, don't worry about that either. So, um, yeah, very kind of him to do so. Um, these were a few sort of what we call, call classics. Um, been out for a long time. I've just never got round to buying them. And um, I thought, well... He's either going to stick him on Music Magpie and get napping for him anyway. So, uh, why not just take him off his hands and, yeah. I know. So, he was happy, I'm happy. All works out, which is jolly good. Um, if you haven't seen Glenn's channel yet, go and do so. He's a great guy. He's um, one of the small YouTuber uh people that I've got to know in our little community that we've got and um, I love his channel he does a lot of fun stuff um, a lot of the stuff is unboxings and bits and pieces like that so yeah um, pretty cool pretty cool anyway I'm gonna show you what I've got oh he sent me uh, he sent me some bits so he's got stay awesome unboxing geeking sub boxes uh, plus the occasional movie book review and more. So there you are. That says everything that I was trying to say. He put it in better words than I am. So there we go. It says, stay awesome. For some reason he's got a Viking longboat on there. <laughs> I'm not sure what that's all about. <laughs> but there's his details. I put uh, a thingy up in the corner as per usual. Uh, I think it's up in this one. So go and check that one out. And he sent me some stuff. <laughs> he sent me a pin. Well, thank you, mate. I do already have that one. That one came through. Uh, I think Lee Teasdale actually gave me that one. So I'll keep hold of that one. And that'll probably go for um, a giveaway later on. Uh, but thank you anyway, mate. I do appreciate the gesture. We've got loads of these stupid... Oh, God, he sent me loads of stuff, mate. You didn't have to do all this. I thought it was more than bloody CDs. Like, i got all this crap. <laughs> I don't know why I was supposed to do that. Bird nest soup or something. Uh, well, let's, let's, let's have a look at the goodies he sent us, because he, he sent us a fair few goodies. Oh, of course, he sent me a, a bombshell. Uh, you may have seen some of my other videos. I managed to get some of these for uh, a quid each from Poundland. And, uh, yeah, they're quite cool. No, I didn't really get any one much I wanted, but uh, we'll have a look anyway. I think this is a different set from the ones I've got, but I'm not sure. Anyway, if I can get into it... Uh, So let's see who we've got, and it's in a bag. But it is. I think that's Batgirl, isn't it? I think we've got Batgirl this time. And I know I said that once before, and it turned out to be Raven. But I think this is Batgirl. I never uh, read the bombshell stories or anything, so I don't really know an awful lot about it. Except it was sort of like the 19 sort of uh, 40s, I think, style. There we are, yeah, that's Batgirl, I would have said, wouldn't you? 
So that's pretty cool. I quite like that. That's one of the nicer ones, actually. Yeah, thank you very much, Glenn. That's cool. Right. And then I think we're into the main part of the parcel. So thank you for those little extra goodies, mate. I really do appreciate that. Very kind of you. Didn't have to do that. Shame there's no note, but... <laughs> That's cool. So, we've got a number of things, and I don't know that I necessarily asked for all of these, but I'm quite happy to take it. So we got Nevada. I'm assuming this is a best of. This says 15 classic songs, newly remastered, something. Anyway, there we go. So just the basic CD. Uh, let me have a look at the tracks. Yeah. You know you're right. About a girl. Uh, Green Ace Show. Don't know that one. Can't read all of these very well. Sounds like Teen Spirit, obviously. Come As You Are. In the Loaming, is that one? Don't know. Heart Shaped Box, yeah. I have some good tracks on there. I'll show you a bit better so you can read it better than I. On my site. There we go. That's that one. Some Food Fighters. And this is stuff that I've never actually bought. Uh, you know, before. I've not, I've, not, I've not got any of the vinyl Food Fighters albums, surprisingly. Just, I like the bands, but I just never got around to buy them. Anyway, we got that one. There we are. And this is Food Fighters, what do they call it? Can't see. Sorry, it's my sight. It's very, very off at the moment, so. But anyway, there's the back. Pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, one by one. One by one. Yeah. Thank you. Because it has a sticker over it, I can read it. Okay, then we got the classic Nirvana Unplugged in New York. Sweet. I've seen some of that set actually played. Whoop, I on the disc is falling out. I'll have to get a new box for that one, but that's that's alright, I'm not worried about that. So that's cool. You can see the sort of my taste of music. Another Foo Fighters one. There is nothing left to lose. There we go. Some class stuff. Absolute class stuff. More Nirvana in the use row. The third album. If my memory serves. Yeah, Bleach was fast, wasn't it? Then it was Nevermind. And then it was this one. Now I think there's some early demos as well that you can get. But I wouldn't swear to that. Again, a bit too small right for me to read. But hey ho, that's alright. I'll give it a listen. I recognise the song soon enough. There's another Food Fighters one. And give me more here than I actually asked for. I did say the Nirvana and Food Fighters, but you only listed a couple of each. So um, I'm very pleased to get all of these, mate. Thank you very much for that. Freaking awesome. I know I'm showing you the insides and all of these, so I apologise for that. Uh, and then, the classic, Back in Black, ACDC, with the embossed sleeve. And this is a classic, you've got House Bells, Shoots a Thrill, yeah. What do you do for money, honey? Give the dog a bone. <laughs> That's not a track. <laughs> Let me put my love into you. Yeah, back in black. You shook me all night long. Absolute brilliant song. Have a drink on me. Shake a leg. And rock and roll ain't noise pollution. Ah, I didn't know that. It was produced by John Mutt Lang without sounding like a Def Leppard ripoff. So that's cool. Yeah, I did used to like Def Leppard a fair bit, and then 
I realised that the, their sound, certainly on Hysteria anyway and, and that, was more to do with John Mark Lang than them themselves. Because there's a Brian Adams album that came out, I think it was Waking Up The Neighbours, and it just sounds like a bunch of rejected Def Leppard songs. It's just, you know, not what you want from an album, is it? Anyway, there we go. So, a nice selection of CDs there. Yeah, yes, people do still buy them, people still listen to them. I certainly do, anyway. You got your badge. That'll get passed on to somebody. Might even give that to my niece, because she loves Marvel stuff. And the old fat girl. So, yeah. And it's a card, of course. So thank you very much Glenn, much do appreciate it mate, you didn't have to stick them extras in there but thank you very much for doing so, do appreciate it. Um, really that's all to say about the video, uh, so that is it for now, um, I hope I'm going to get back into doing videos a bit more, just been feeling a bit meh, nah, like most people really, I'm there with what's going on. Um, yeah, so really that is it, anyway I'm going to have me drink and get sorted out for the day. And I will catch you in the next video. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, see you then. Bye.